Welcome back. We are here looking at the US indexes. So uh, this is going to be my daily forecast for uh, Tuesday, October 20th, 2020 for the US indexes of the S&P 500, Dow Jones and the Nasdaq. So if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. That helps us a lot. Thank you very much. So we'll start out by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we are we have rallied a little bit, given some of those gains back. But I think it's just a matter of time before we technically go towards the 50 moving average. We can see on the technical indicators, they are they are not looking very promising at the moment. Most of them are flat or showing signs of weakness. We can see the MACD is, trading flat, is uh, trending flat at the moment. The same goes for the RSI. Same goes for the CCI. Stochastic is a little bit bearish. And the Bollinger Band is basically also showing signs of uh, trading, trending sideways. If we look at the major companies in, these, in this um, index, you can see them here. Most of them are negative at this point. I do believe this market is waiting for more confirmation whether or not there's going to be additional stimulus before the election. I highly doubt it. I've been saying that for quite some time now. I don't think anybody is going to come out and say there is going to be stimulus or not going to be stimulus. And therefore, the market is just going to drift slowly uh, lower or just drift slowly sideways. We're going to see an explosion before the election. Uh, Republicans are not interested in making a major stimulus bill before the election, and the uh, Democrats are not interested in basically giving Donald Trump a major victory before the election. So uh, that makes it quite hopeless as it is only um, two weeks and one day until the election. So at the moment, we are trading above the 20 exponential moving average. I do believe we will break towards the 20 exponential moving average in this week, probably later on today. Then the 50 moving average, which is at around 3,400. We may bounce from there. If we break lower, then we'll go all the way towards the 100 moving average at 3,200 and 3,300. There about. I do believe that 50 moving average will be significant resistant or the 40 expansion moving average just underneath there. Uh, um, a bounce from there will have the maximum uh, in rise of 3,549. So we'll most likely trade in between this area sideways until the election is basically over. So if we look at the Dow Jones, we can see it's very similar here. Market doesn't really know where to go. It's basically just in a standstill. Uh, little or no movement. The Dow Jones is up 0.08 at this point. Trade technical indicators, MACD flat, RSI flat, the CCI is technically flat. Stochastic is basically turning around, showing signs of, uh, of uh, basically improving, but it's still underneath the signal line. But I do believe that we'll trade towards the 20, the 50 moving average and then bounce from there. So most likely the lows will be 27,992 at this point to the highs of uh, 28,957. So a matter of 1,000 points um, will probably most likely trade uh, before the election. Um, as I said, don't believe any major pronouncements on the stimulus bill as it's fairly toxic both for the Democrats and toxic for the Republicans. So, um, yeah, if we look at the NASDAQ here, so I need to get rid of these signs here. So. Nasdaq has fallen uh, 0 0.33, 34% uh, in, in the day session, and it will most likely go drifting towards the 50 moving average. The same here, don't believe that there's going to be a major breakout. Uh, 11,461 will most likely be the bottom, and the highs will be 12,187. Uh, don't expect this market to break down significantly. 
if we were to break down the 100 moving average at around there, 10,916 will be major support. To the upside, 12,187 will be a major resistant. Um, if we look at technical indicators, they are a little bit more bearish than the for the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones, mainly due to the fact that you can see that the major tech stocks are definitely having a, a really hard time today and are going to drift lower. Facebook, Google are down one and a half percent almost. Uh, Apple, Microsoft, Netflix, and so on and so on. Everybody's doing quite badly at this point, and therefore this market is going to trend towards the 50 moving average. Yes, if you go lower than that, then definitely the 100 moving average will be major uh, support. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by uh, clicking the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.